All right, so Rob, if you're ready to rock, we're going to cue up this next tune. It's called Just a Little Bit Closer by Majorano. Let's do this right here. Is this a cover, Joe? What, what's the story here? Oh. We'll find out. Let's do this. Right here. Dig out a weekend, brought with the tigers through the jungle. Closer by Majorano, I believe that's how it's said. I'm pretty confident that's how it's said. So it this feels like a cover to me, but uh, like Matt was just saying behind the scenes, I mean that's a good thing, and I agree. If if it sounds like cover and it's not, that means it's a really catchy tune. Everybody's like, saying like, 60 sound. It's, uh, that, well, if I can finish my point here, gosh. So. I'm going far back. So what the flavor I was feeling for this one was Twist and Shout from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? So I went and looked up the soundtrack, and I go all the way to this guy named Burt Burns. Burt Burns is a guy who wrote that tune, and the Beatles performed it, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, that movie, they did the performance of that. But I looked up Burt Burns. He co-wrote Brown Eyed Girl. He co-wrote Under the Boardwalk for the Drifters. He co-wrote I Want Candy for the Strange Love. Like, I mean, that that's kind of the flavor I hear behind the songwriting in this tune, man. It's it's old school and it, it's great. But Matt, what do you think? Uh, I, I agree with that stuff. Again, it it goes back to I love those acoustic instruments. I loved how they. You know, it sounds like a band. It sounds like uh, uh, I could just imagine myself in front of these guys all bouncing at the same time. <laughs> you know, the breakdown, the uh, the horns had a little uh, quote-unquote solo. Then there was a little bass and drum thing. You know, they gave everybody their little chance to, to shine. I, I love that. And uh, I, I'd love to go see these guys and stand on the front row and have their spit val valves get emptied all over <laughs> Yeah, Joe, there's, what a, do you think? there's a live video of the band on YouTube. You just type in the name of the band and just a little bit closer. There's a live video of them. I chose to do the recording because the live video was just a bunch of jamming and stuff. They're good. 